Great. So welcome everyone to this webinar where we will look a bit at how you can control processes, budget, and time spent on projects in Podio. And for this webinar, I will take on the role as a project manager, wanting to be in control of the project budgets and the time spent on deliverables and total costs within a project. So I will start by sharing my screen. Google Chrome right now and Podio. So I'm logged into Podio and I will go to my project space. This is actually the project collaboration pack that you can get from the App Store and I will paste the link to that uh, right after this webinar. And it, of course like a good TV chef I'm <laughs> prepared for this because so I have some content already in, in this space so it's more efficient this webinar. Um, and I will start by showing you the projects app. And inside the project app we have a project called the Future Work Tour. You might know that we and Podio have been on a Future Work Tour for, for the last couple of months. Um, if I look at the specific object Future Work Tour, we have a couple of numbers and deliverables attached to it. You see some numbers right here and we have some different deliverables here. Well, where do these come from then? Well, I go to the Deliverables app different deliverables here so uh, we have the uh, get on TechCrunch, get prominent speakers to join, win the launchpad final and so on. Um, looking on the get on TechCrunch item we see that the project is referenced the future of work tour and we have a few numbers here as well we have for example the budget is 700 US dollars, the time allocated is five hours um, and also we have a field that says amount left to complete on budget and I will of course show you where that comes from. So going to the timesheets app, here I have a timesheet called editing the future of work video. I'll view the full item and in timesheets this is where your colleagues report their time that is spent on different deliverables assigned to them by the responsible project manager. So when opening this timesheet I see some different uh, facts or, or fields as well. The responsible is Christian Blomberg. Uh, he spent four hours at an hourly rate of $100. Total cost is 400 US dollars. So let's see how these fields are calculated by Podio. And then I will go to Modify App. And now I'm going into the Podio App Builder, which uh, some of you might have seen. Uh, we actually have a separate webinar for that in a couple of weeks. You see the different fields of the app here as well. We have the time spent, which is a duration field. We have the hourly rate, which is a money field. And we have the total cost, which is a calculated field. And clicking this I'll see that the calculation is based upon the time spent multiplied by the hourly rate. So the time spent multiplied by the hourly rate and we get the total cost. Well, time spent 4 hours Hourly rate 100 US dollars, that makes for 400 US dollars. Going to the deliverables once again and get on TechCrunch. These are fields saying hours allocated, hours left, amount left to complete on budget. And let's see how this gets its data from different apps. So modify app once again, going into the app builder once again, and looking at the different fields. We have the budget field, we have the hours allocated, and this is a money field, this is a duration field, and these two are calculated fields. So looking at this calculated field, 
this is the hours allocated for this deliverable. So this is the one just right above it, minus the sum of time spent. And this number we get from the related timesheets to this specific deliverable. So the deliverable that we looked at before was the editing the video for the future work. And we sum up the time spent on that um, and the hours allocated is, of course, minus the sum of the time spent. The amount left field is the budget field minus the sum of the total cost field from the timesheet. Going to the projects app where all this is summed up. As you may remember, we have some different fields here as well. We have 38 hours, 5,950 US dollars, one hours left of allocation time, and amount left of budget is 300 US dollars. So when I modify this app, I have in total four calculated fields. So the deliverables time allocated gets its data from the sum of hours allocated and you see from the um, related deliverable so this is the sum of hours allocated and we are actually not doing any real calculation here but in just summing up the different hours that we had on our deliverables you can also see the deliverables budget in total so this is the sum of the budget coming from the deliverables and the hours left, we have the sum of hours left to complete, and we have the amount left of deliverables budget is the sum of the amount left to complete. The podio is hereby creating an a project overview exactly how much time and money I've been spending on a project. And as you see here, deliverables in total, 38 hours. Those are the numbers from the deliverables, the three different deliverables here. So the get on check crunch is five hour hours. Get prominent speakers is 30 hours. Will launch but final is three hours so together that is 38 hours that we got on our future work tour project and going further from this i can create a report so going to the front page of the projects app clicking filter and report i can make a new report the function i choose the sum of the uh, hours left of deliverables. See that is one hours left. I can look at the deliverables time allocated. In total that's 38. Could always also break this down by the responsible project manager. So I see that Christian Bloomberg has 38 hours allocated. I can also break it down by, by week. So I see that in week 14 we have 38 hours allocated uh, for this specific project. And if I would like to save this, hours per project manager, hours, I will save this to the space front page, click save. And here's the report. If I click the report, I get directly to, to a filter showing me exactly what Christian has left. This has been a really, really short intro to the calculations for product management, but you can, of course, imagine the other purposes that you can use this for as well. For example, you can uh, break down income by customer type or by customer location, perhaps income by partner, 
by product, by sales ag agent and similar stuff. And these calculations could, of course, also be applied to recruiting purposes and how many candidates we have, um, software development processes, etc., etc. But this webinar has been showing it for the project management purposes. And I really hope that you've enjoyed this short webinar and that Podio now, of course, will save you even more time and money while having some fun along the way.